Could you make a video about how you landed a job in Singapore? I'm looking to move to Asia myself and I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. So that's the topic for today. I'm going to try and keep it short. So currently I work for a multinational consultancy and um, I'm happy to refer you to, to the company here. But truth be told, it's pretty difficult to get EP sponsorship here. And I'm pretty sure my employer is looking to hire people who are local because there's quotas and who are permanent residents, which are kind of treated the same as locals, really. If you live here long enough, you apply for permanent residency and once you get it, yeah, you're easier to, to hire locally. But if you, if you live in Europe or the States and you want to come here, uh, well, you won't have PR and it's a much more difficult pro process for, for local companies to hire you. So there's that disadvantage. Some multinationals, let's say Chinese companies or some who, who just have bigger clout, uh, you know, perhaps your Googles, they will be able to perhaps sponsor you easily because they kind of cut deals with the government to, to get the talent in. Smaller companies, they will probably just find it just too difficult to hire you because of the bureaucracy getting an employment pass. Bigger companies are probably where you want to apply to. Though I would say you get your, your Western company, your Western companies, you get your Chinese companies. The, the Chinese companies here like ByteMark, you know, TikTok, the, um, the Lazadas, the, I don't know, this, the Tencents, they do have a bigger and bigger pro, uh, presence here and they do seemingly use quite interesting, you know, stacks like Golang and all that other stuff. But they are also pretty infamous for their working culture, the, the 996, modern day slavery, like working nine hours, um, six days a week. So personally, I would not see myself, even though the, the technology looks interesting, I would never think about applying to work for a Chinese company because, you know, because of that, that basically that culture clash. I do believe in work-life balance though it's pretty difficult here in Singapore. Everything's so competitive here. So, I mean, if you want to give it a try, go for it, but just know that you're going to be uh, giving blood, shall we say. You, your best bet probably for a local-ish company is, is something like Grab. They're pretty big and they use a pretty decent technology stack. That's probably where you want to try apply to. That's like, like Uber in Asia is, is Grab, Grab car. Who else are the bigger companies? I guess the typical MNCs. I mean, if you if you're from the states, you probably try, want to try work out which which of the you know, the companies out in the states have a presence in Singapore, have an HQ in, in Singapore. Maybe try wing wing your way into the country like that. Yeah, but I mean, truth be told, um, there's slim pickings here. I would say in Singapore right now as a technology minded person like myself. I mean, if you watch my channel, you're into Arch. There's not much Linuxy stuff. There's not much community stuff right now. It's, I mean, it, I'm, I'm sure this is probably the low point and we'll just get better from this point on. But right now, 2nd of May, 2022, it's pretty depressing, I'd say. Community wise, meetup wise, we haven't really had many or, or any in, in person meetings yet. It's, I think it's going to take a long time for people to get into mood for in-person type stuff. <laughs> so yeah, as a foreigner, you, you don't have much choice and you're going to find it very difficult. I would encourage you, first and foremost, if you're interested in, in having a look around East Asia, just go backpacking. Just go backpacking. Just set yourself like a small daily budget. Travel around India for a few months. Travel around uh, Thailand. Tra travel around Malaysia travel around Indonesia. Um, I think you're bound to, to meet other like-minded people. And, and through that, you know, if you meet a like-minded local or something like that, through that, I think that's your best avenue to getting a job. Come here, have a look around, try to get a job that way. I hope I answered your question. Sorry, I rambled a bit. Do give the video a like so other people can see my take on the... And comment below if I'm wrong. If there's some company that pays well in Singapore right now 
doing interesting things, let me know down there because currently I don't see much going on. Oh yeah, and pay. Who I didn't get into that so much, but let's just say the bigger companies pay more than startups. And should we say equity and things like this has hasn't been really figured out yet here. So there's some data points to go with. Thanks. Bye.